Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of crap in front of me. Several, several thousand dollars and a few years worth of collecting and buying. Now this doesn't even include the Gamma build, which is still in my room complete, and the other two computers that are sitting out in the garage. If I was to tear them apart, I would easily get three extra motherboards, you know, six more things of RAM, three more CPUs, power supplies, so on and so forth. And not to mention the radiators and water cooler and the reservoirs and all the pumps and stuff that are in that. But I wanted to go over some of this stuff with you guys. This is a computer channel. We talk about technology. So guess what? That's what we got in front of us. Technology. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and here we go. So I saw where Superman built a computer. I saw that the other day. I was like, oh, that's cool. He, uh, I don't remember the guy's name, whatever. The dude that played Superman in the DC movies. Yeah, he builds a computer. Um, he built it like how I expect anybody that was a novice to build a computer. Made a few mistakes, but he did a pretty good job. He did better than The Verge, I'll say that much. So anyway, starting on this side right here, we have, that right there is an RX 580, and then you have the GTX 1070, the GTX 1080 Ti, the GTX 1060, and then our new card, the Radeon 5500 XT. Now, I did say that my fastest card that I was in possession with was this one, the GTX 1070. Now, you're wondering, I just talked about a 1080. Well, unfortunately, that 1080 is dead yeah it no longer works um one of the hdmi ports went out and then the display port went out and then the fans wouldn't turn on and eventually you just got a black screen so it sits in the box in case i ever come across another evga 1080 ti i'll have parts for it so you know it's worth keeping i guess um these are my pumps i every time i do a water cool build i always buy this style of pump. Now these pumps are only about 20 bucks on eBay. But let me tell you what, man, they're quiet, they're reliable, they have a nice flow, and they're four pin PWM, so you can control them. They're only about 20 bucks, and like I said, you can get them on eBay. But every time I do a new build, I always replace the pump. Guaranteed, no matter if that build's been there for six months, you always replace the pump, especially if you run, um, additive color additives to your computer or to your liquid which is something i highly recommend that you do not do there is no need to add all that color and shit to your system all you're going to do is cause more maintenance for you gum up all your parts okay your pumps will gum up your water block like for instance this this is a clear water block if i was to run a blue fluid through this for let's say a few months and then I took it out and wanted to put a new fluid in it. Nope, guess what? Your block is now stained light blue. No matter what kind of fluid you use, some are worse than others, um, but I don't recommend them. I have no problems with any of my water cooling builds. None of them. After seven, eight months of running them, I'll tear them apart, open up the blocks in them, and there's nothing wrong with them. They just need a little bit of cleaning. Now, if I was to run a coolant, it would gum the shit out of it. I would almost have to replace it. If you guys watch Linus, Jay's Two Cents, or any of them guys, and you'll know for a fact that when they talk about tearing apart water blocks and how they're all clogged up and shit, it's because they're running a color additive or some kind of coolant that's made by Primo Chill or whoever it's made by. Um, well, you know, that's the issue that you have at hand. Now, I do personally run Primo Chill. Uh, some additives, like their pest, like their uh, their biocides, that that's an additive that you put in the water cooling loop, and that will kill any bacteria that grows in the system, which is really cool. I'm also a big fan of Freeze Mod. I love Freeze Mod. Here's their reservoir water cooling pump thing combo. That's really cool. I got dual radiators. They're just sitting there chilling right here. 
is a brand new radiator. I love this radiator. This thing was, whew, is it nice. Yes, that's for our, uh, our more expensive high-end builds. That radiator was a little bit on the pricey side, you know what I mean? By the way, for my new build, I got this. I was trying to think of a unique way to, well, start my power on the computer. So what I did is I went and I got one of these uh, power switches. You see it in there? I'm going to mount it into the case, and that way when you press the button, it'll come on blue. And man, that's going to look great once I get that wired up and stuff. Uh, and then, of course, we have motherboards. Uh, three of my mother... No, three, two, three, three. Three of my motherboards do not have boxes. The three that do, I brought them out here. So you have an Oris H370, an Arctic H270, and a Z490, which is my current motherboard. And then down here, oh my god, let me tell you what. If I was to bring out all of my RAM, I would need another table. I just said, screw it. I'm just going to take out a couple pieces. They'll get the idea. Move on. So we have our two color RAM, DDR4, that's an 8 and an 8. And then this is a DDR3 stick. And then, of course, you have your hard drives. You have an MP3 100, a flare. This is a Sunbow. Then you have our two uh, M.2 drives. These are Gen 4s. These are going to go in our new build. A uh, standard SSD and a standard SSD. Uh, one of the things, and I bet you're wondering about this. This is, uh, I was trying to figure out, sometimes you'll throw away the box, which I also recommend. Do not throw away the box. Never throw away the box. Always keep the box. The box will get you more money for the product at the end, by the way. But anyway, I needed a place to store and hold my graphics cards. So what I did is I took this high impact foam that comes in like TVs and stuff. And I basically carved out a spot for the graphics card here for it to sit. See? Like that. And it keeps it perfect. I mean, look at that. Just slides in and holds it. And that's how I put them on the shelf. You have a 960, this is an MSI 1054 gig, and this is a, a Hydro GTX 5, or what is it? A, it's a For the Win 5800, so it's a 580 graphics card. This is what we used in the 64-bit Monster Project. Uh, that was an older video, y'all need to check that video out. Um, and of course, we have the 1070 that we just did the water block on, and then we have our spare 1070 uh, water block, but this fits a Strix card versus this was an MSI card. Uh, moving on, we got our Ryzen, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 5, Core i7, and then that's our Athlon. This right here is an AM4 chip. It has built-in graphics. A lot of times when I'm diagnosing or just trying to figure out what's going on with an AM4 board, I don't want to hook up the I don't want to hook up a uh, you know, a graphics card and have to go through all that shit and try to get the drivers for. It. When I can just put that chip in Okay, put that chip in, boom, has built-in graphics in it, boom. Let's me know if the if the damn motherboard's going to turn on or not. Fans. Oh my god. I have a box, a tote full of fans. It's ridiculous. So I just brought out the new ones. These are the new ones that are going in the build, 140s, 120s. Those are all static pressured fans, meaning that they are meant to move that airflow through a tight or non-scap. So basically like for your radiators, uh, static pressure fans would be great for radiators. Anything other than that, that'd be good for moving air in and out. Uh, CPU coolers. I've actually cut down a little bit on my CPU coolers. Uh, you have an H100i Pro down there at the bottom. That's missing the main bracket that holds it onto the block. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I sold this one to an idiot and then I bought it back from the idiot, and when he sold it to me, he fucking took all the parts out of it, or whatever. And I didn't look to see if all the brackets and stuff were in it. So, of course, I bought it back half used from the guy, and, you know, he didn't fucking listen to me one bit. I told him not to take apart the system. Don't do this. Don't do that. The computer runs 100% balls to the wall. You will be okay. Don't take nothing out of it. And what's the first thing he does? He starts taking shit out of it. Actually, he takes the shit out of it, 
can't figure out why it won't go back together right, so he takes it to his local computer shop, and then that dildo, oh my god, put all just, what a nightmare. I am, I, I will no longer sell completed computers anymore, because I put too much passion into my computers. Too much of my time and, and just passion goes into them, you know? I mean, look at my Gamma build. That's a badass looking computer, and that's because I put a lot of time into that computer. But to somebody, and then they mistreat it or tear it apart, I'd be like, what the fuck did I sell it to you for? You know, give me my, give me the computer back. Here's your goddamn thousand dollars. I don't even need that money, dude. I got thousands and thousands of dollars in the bank. Think I give a fuck about that kind of money? Fuck that shit. Moving on. Excuse my language. But back to the CPU coolers, okay? You have the Neon Lusion, which was one of our very first RGB coolers. That thing is awesome. You got the Zelman Z8, and then you got two off-brand Chinese CPU coolers. They work great. This is the new up here dome cooler, which is really cool. Let me show you guys what that looks like. And if you think that these boxes are empty, ha, kiss my ass. They're not empty. Look, see, there's, that's in there. See, that's in there. That's in there. You know what I mean? Like, don't even mess with me on that. So anyway, we'll open this up. So it has, it's this style of, of cooler. I know y'all seen this before. If you guys, well, Come on, get out of the box. If you guys shop on Amazon, then I know that you've seen this cooler. But it's an up here cooler, and I haven't done a video with it. They actually sent this to me, oh my God, months ago and stuff, and I just never got around to it. But yeah, that's that's a new cooler right there that I got to do something with, do a video on. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, coming down the line, we have our power supplies. Once again, I have two power supplies right now and two complete computers and then I have two more sitting out in the garage that are hooked up to other things but right now you see the thermal take the captain power series by Piva now I like a, a, a Piva they make good power supplies but you got to be careful which ones you buy because you will get the bottom dollar and I never want you to go cheap on a power supply never go cheap on one always spend the extra money and get you a really good, if there's one part in your computer that you don't skimp on, that is the power supply. Never skimp on your power supply. And then not to mention all of this stuff that's in here, this box. I didn't even get to this. There was just no room for this. Uh, like here, these are the RGB uh, jackets that go over your, uh, your RAM and stuff. And then, you know, you have network cards and USB host cards. This is a, uh, a Wi-Fi. I think it's a wireless Wi-Fi. Yeah, wireless Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's what's in there. Wireless Wi-Fi. You know, you got your USB master, Windows key, a disk repair. Uh, what's all over that? I don't know. Uh, an IC dock, dual hard drive adapter and then you have all your like uh, debugging equipment and stuff underneath there so yeah I mean the list just keeps going on and on and on and then the cool thing about it is this right here this is our last thing to take a look at this is pretty cool this is a GPU fan system basically it sits in one of your PCI slots it lights up different colors right there you see that right there at the top those all light up red green blue whatever from the back you can control it see the switch color switch this switch that you got all these little things in it and stuff which is pretty cool that's the end right there T virus reservoir and I just kinda wanted to show you guys all the stuff um, the next thing to do is to tear apart the gamma build that's gonna have to be clean um, the radiators and stuff like that are going to, to be clean. Flow meters going to, to be clean. Um, we are going to reuse some of the parts on it, uh, but you know that'll be the next video to show you guys. Hello, what was that? Hello, rabbit and a dog. So I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. I notice our subscription count is going up, and I do appreciate you guys. 
without y'all this would be nothing so thank you guys i hope y'all enjoy this video and as always you guys be cool and we'll see y'all in the next one